Hey everyone, it's Houndex here, and today I've tested the Lenovo Legion 5, and I've noticed that it's the fastest Ryzen gaming laptop out there for gaming. The laptop has some really good specs, it has a Ryzen 7 4800H, a GTX 1660 Ti 80 watt version, it's also got 16 gigs of RAM in dual channel 3200 MHz. It's got a 15.6 inch 1080p 144Hz display panel, 512 GB NVMe SSD, and a 60 watt hour battery. Testing was done with the latest version of Windows 10, aka the October 2020 update, and the latest NVIDIA drivers. I've also optimized the NVIDIA control panel for the most performance possible, and I've also enabled the high performance mode in the Lenovo Vantage app, and enabled GPU overclocking. So if you're getting less FPS than the results in the video, I highly recommend you checking tips in the description below to optimizing your laptop so that it may perform the same or even better than the results I have in the video. But before we get into the testing, remember to like and subscribe if you're new to the Hound channel. That really helps me a lot. I'm so close to 700 subscribers, and I'm going to try to reach that goal by the end of 2020. So if we can hit that, then that will definitely help me a lot. The first game tested to kick off with the video is Metro Exodus. At extreme settings, it was basically unplayable, and it was kind of playable at ultra, but not very enjoyable, and it was near the laptop's refresh rate, only at low settings. Next up, we have Fortnite, and it was tested in Chapter 2, Season 5, and it was DirectX 11. This game is not as demanding as it used to be back in 2017, so you don't have to really worry about um, the FPS can pretty much already average around 144 fps which is the laptop's refresh rate at high settings the next game tested is csgo and this game obviously to be expected we get loads of fps over 300 pretty much on all benchmarks so this laptop is pretty much overkill for that game at least for 1080p the next game tested is Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Pretty much all settings were never close to the 144 FPS um, for a fresh rate that the laptop had. You couldn't really get more than 60 FPS unless you downgraded the quality to 1080p very high, which was 62 FPS on average. Next up, we have Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Similar to Metro Exodus, it was pretty much unplayable at the highest setting preset, you really can only play the game at above 60 fps when you're at low settings 1080p next up i tested krunker with msi afterburner this game is not really demanding at all but i decided to do it for fun and see how much fps we got and without a surprise it is overkill we got around 956 fps on average and even at 4k it's still in the 900s and it's basically an overkill for this game so you'll basically have a really high advantage if you're gonna like compete like win tournaments with this laptop overwatch was tested in 1080p and it was already averaging at the laptop's refresh rate and epic settings so you can definitely take advantage of this laptop's refresh rate in this game Death Stranding was tested in 1080p, and unfortunately, even at the low preset, you couldn't really average near the laptop's refresh rate, though if you did have a 120Hz screen, that would be fine. However, in this game, out of all the other tested games, we were getting the most stable FPS, aside from Overwatch. Red Dead Redemption 2 was tested in 1080p, and similar to Metro Exodus, it was basically unplayable um, at ultra settings. We were close to the 60 FPS range on high settings. Battlefield 5 was tested with DirectX 12, and you really could only average at the laptop's refresh rate at low settings. Interesting though, when jumping from low to medium settings, the FPS difference was huge. So that concludes all the games that I've tested so far, and I noticed that this laptop was one of the fastest Ryzen plus GTX 1660 Ti, if not the fastest GTX 1660 Ti Ryzen laptop. Unfortunately, some Intel 10750H gaming laptops are faster than this laptop, but that is kind of expected because Intel does take an advantage over AMD gaming on laptops. However, another thing I like about the laptop is the low screen response time. It's only around 4 milliseconds, and compared to other gaming laptops, that's pretty good for a 144Hz refresh rate. Overall, I definitely recommend this gaming laptop to pretty much anyone, especially if you can get it on a good deal. 
and aside from gaming, if you're gonna plan on doing content creation and video editing on this laptop, then there's no reason why you shouldn't get this laptop. These AMD generally does do better at Intel in like content creator workloads. And if you could get this for around $1,000, then it's definitely worth it. That said, let me know down in the comments below what you think about this laptop, because I am definitely impressed by the performance it offers. So hope you all enjoyed this video, smash the like button if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new to the channel, I'm going to try to hit 700 subscribers, that would really help me a lot if we actually hit that goal before 2020 ends, but yeah, I'll see you all in my next video.